that uh, marks the end of one trip and the beginning of another. We just crossed over into Idaho. So mule deer hunting's over, now to focus on elk. Uh, it's Saturday, so I have a, uh, uh, what is that, four, four or five days before the elk hunt starts. Tonight I'm gonna stay at a hotel, get all my stuff washed, organized, batteries charged, memory cards cleared, do a little e-scout and get everything ready, and I'm headed into the unit tomorrow. I'm not hunting too far from Utah where I was mule deer hunting, so it's a pretty easy drive in between the two places. But I'm going in, general tag, over the counter, Hopefully uh, I can have some luck finding some elk and staying away from people. We'll see. Been to this unit before, muzzleloader hunting, so I'm a little bit familiar. But I'm going to have uh, four days to really scour the unit before the hunt. So I'm going to try some places, maybe hike into a few places that I haven't been to before. So that's the goal. Uh, not much else going on today. Just like I said, organization. And uh, we'll start the new video tomorrow. We'll see you then. Well, I'm off into the elk woods, or mountains, or whatever you want to call them. I am two days before the season, so I'm going in pretty light with camp. No bows, no killing stuff, just a day's worth of food. If I find elk, I find a place to camp. Dropping camp, coming back tomorrow, getting the rest of my stuff. If I don't find elk, I'm gonna go elsewhere. But it's hot today. Looks like I'm kind of alone in this spot. I didn't see anybody else. So that's good. Kind of going off the trail, right from the trailhead. So hopefully that helps as well. And uh, I'll see you once I get up this mountain. Not much to uh, show down here besides a real nice creek. Definitely beautiful and uh, picturesque, but not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for elk, so I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I see any sign. That's this is exactly what I'm looking for. High up. Whoa. Looks like it's been used pretty recently. It's all muddy. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna put a stick in it couple sticks in there to see if they're moved when I come back through tomorrow. But this is a freaking awesome sign. I don't know if too many people know about this either because it's way up here. Yes. Well, <clears throat> I'm in here about, I don't know, three and a half, four miles. I think I found some place I'm going to camp tonight. I'm going to try to get so I can listen down into this ravine and in all this north facing timber where I found that water on this side. Hopefully the wind dies down. It's pretty windy up there. I'm hoping that dies down so I can uh, hear if anything's bugling tonight. It's a heck of a hike in here. I don't know. I guess it's going to determine what I hear tonight. What I do tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to hike all the way out of here and then all the way back in here if I'm not hearing any bugles. But it's only been one day, so we'll see. I'll sleep on it, and if not, hiking in deep tomorrow. I got a week and a day. Season starts on Tuesday. Today is Sunday, and uh, hopefully I can get it done. I'm going to try to glass some milk up tonight, though. That's the goal, glass some milk up. We'll see you if I uh, see anything. Well, there she blows. Camp for night number one. I'm gonna go back up the hill. Sorry about the sun. Let's go back up the hill, do some glassing. Hopefully hear some bugles, that'd be cool. But uh, if not, be back down here for dinner. And uh, I'm gonna sit right over there at that point tonight in the dark a little bit to see if I can hear anything down below. But uh, time to go do some glassing. I don't know how much time I have. About two hours till dark, so that'll be perfect. I'll see ya up on the mountain. Hopefully I see something. Well, that's a wrap on day one, scouting for elk. I found lots of sign. 
didn't find any elk today though. I definitely bumped something over there. I don't know what it was, but it was big running through the woods. Might have been a moose. Might have been a lone elk. Definitely wasn't a herd of elk. But I'll go make some dinner. Listen for bugles. Hopefully the uh, wind dies down so I can hear something, but if not, I got a decision to make on uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'll let you know in the morning. All right. It's the next morning. Um, didn't hear any bugles or anything last night. Didn't spot any elk, so I'm gonna bust out of here. There's definitely sign up here, so I'm gonna keep this in my back pocket for later in the week when the pressure gets higher, I think, because it's way up and way back here. But I'm gonna hike in with the horses today, I think. Check out that spot we muzzleloader hunted in last year. Hopefully see some fresher sign and maybe uh, see some elk today. But the season starts tomorrow, so wish me luck. Lots of hiking, lots of scouting today. That's about it. Pack up camp, get the heck out of here. Well, there she is. Loaded down for seven days. Uh, probably the most I've ever had this pack loaded down. I think the most I've done is five days, so I'm going to try to do seven as long as there's elk in there. Find me a place to camp tonight somewhere up somewhere up there then uh start hunting tomorrow first ever archery elk hunt i got a week and a day so i got eight days technically i could probably spread that out to eight if i had to but i'm gonna hike in a couple miles and uh, hopefully get her done i am excited a couple horse trailers here but no trucks season starts tomorrow so that should be a good sign i will see you guys on the mountain all right camp is set I'm all nestled in these little trees here. Ten behind me. Oh, a little bit of a slope, but not too bad. Not as bad as when we were uh, in Utah a few days ago. But we're camp. Food for six or seven days. Uh, season starts tomorrow. So tonight I'm climbing up. Uh, not too awful high. Just a little bit higher than this. And do some glassing and some listening. Hopefully this wind dies down. It's going to be hard to hear anything tonight if it's uh, windy like this, but hoping to get some eyes on some elk tonight, something to chase tomorrow. If not, bombing straight down in the morning and uh, try my hand at calling, so we'll see. We'll hopefully uh, show you something when I get to the top here, hoping to see something tonight, so we'll see. Stay tuned. Idaho elk starts tomorrow. Well, night one of glassing's over. Seen my first elk. Actually two different groups. Really far apart. One's kind of way closer to the road. So that'd kind of be a backup one. They might be hidden up there. And the other ones came straight down from this mountain, kind of where I thought they'd come down. I didn't see any bulls. Saw one spike. Haven't heard any bugles yet. But uh the wind's definitely dying down from where my camp is. I should be able to hear this whole basin in front of me, so hopefully they're lighting off tonight and I can get in their way tomorrow. That's the plan. It's a gorgeous night. The temperatures are pretty nice now. It's hot during the day, but I'm glad it's not 40 degrees right now. Let's check out this view. My camp is right there. Saw some elk up here. And the other ones came down from the mountain. And in the morning, I'm planning on going right down in here. So that's the plan. Dinner, sleep, get my hot stuff ready. First day, archery elk on tomorrow. I am pumped. We'll see you then. Well, welcome to opening morning. And I got some bugles. I'm not sure if they're people. It's way down close to the road. But it's kind of where I saw those elk last night. So I'm going to continue creeping up here. See if I can get eyes on them. There's a new horse trailer way down by the road. So it could be those guys. We'll see. I'm going to creep up, creep up closer. See what I can find out. Right now it's probably a mile away. But I got two miles.
So I know it's on this side of the road. Keep you updated. Opening day. Let's go. Well, <clears throat> doing exactly what I shouldn't be doing. Hiking back towards the truck and back towards the road. Probably about two miles. Because I heard bugles over here on this hillside. I'm not sure if they were those horse hunters I saw or real elk, but it's right where I saw elk last night. So regardless, I'm gonna set up there this evening. So I'll chill out for a little bit here, filter some water. That's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully they sound off again. I can confirm that's real elk or I hopefully I can get some eyes on them. We'll see. Have a little snack and I might head on in there a little bit. As you can see, it's a suicide right in front of me. That's exactly where I saw those elk last night. So, hopefully there's a bull in there. We'll see. Competing with the horse hunters already on day one. Lovely. Well, figured out where the bugle was coming from this morning. I laid eyes on a big bull. Definitely six by six. A herd of cows. They are far. But I'm gonna hike up. Perch up there for the afternoon and hopefully they feed back over this mountain. And I could uh, kind of see where they went. But it's gonna be a long haul to camp tonight. Probably be like a three mile haul, four mile haul. So that's gonna be fun, but hopefully I'm doing it with some elk meat. We shall see. Stay tuned. Well, I've been sitting here for, I don't know, four or five hours. No dice, no activity up here. Waiting for the sun to get a little bit lower. I'm gonna start heading down back towards camp. It's a long ways back to camp and mostly uphill, so. First day in the elk woods, saw a big bull, couldn't film him, unfortunately. Don't know where he went, could be up here somewhere. I don't know, I might have boogered him out, he might have went over. But tomorrow's a new day. There's a chance something could happen tonight, but I'm gonna hydrate, get to the bottom, pick up more water for camp, make my way to camp. Hopefully get there just at last light-ish. So I can uh, listen. I don't know where those horse hunters went. They were headed up towards my camp. I wasn't able to talk to them. But they didn't come after this bull, which I thought was weird. Maybe they didn't hear him because they were on the horses, but we'll see. If I see anything else tonight, you'll see it. If not, hopefully day two goes a little bit better. Tomorrow's a new day. All right. Well, I'm walking out here. Day one recap. Oh, I'm not walking out. I'm actually walking deeper in my camp. Day one recap. Yes. That's not the elk I saw But, yes, I heard some bugles. Yes, I saw a bull. Did I have any opportunity at killing a said bull? No, definitely not. But, it's a start. Day one archery hunting elk. And it was good. They were in some thick stuff. But could probably got an hour hike back to my camp, eat some dinner, do it all over again tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to drop down closer to camp. Hopefully there's some bulls bugling there. We'll see what the pressure brings with the weekend. But day one in the books. See you later. Alright, day two. That's a new day. Today, I wouldn't say I slept in, but I stayed near camp until these thermal start switching. Since I'm camped up high, I'm gonna try to creep down with the thermal start coming up, get into a bedding area down there that we located last year. And hopefully that changes the game a little bit. I'm pretty sure I heard that bull bugle from yesterday as well, this morning. Could have been hunters over there. That's where the trail comes up, but I don't know. If I don't have any luck today, I might go back down there tomorrow we'll see maybe get down there at first light depending on how today goes but today's going to be a lot of getting to the bottom the bedding area 
and on this hillside and uh do a lot of waiting so that's the goal for today stay tuned and uh hopefully have some action venture down to a spot I'll probably stay at this evening. It's right above this saddle me and Jay found when we were here in uh, last October. I heard a few bugles coming from down low. Kind of suspect whether they were other hunters or not. But I called back a few times and had something sneak in behind me down the wind. Whatever it was kind of went around and tried it down the hill. So I don't know if I didn't get any visual, so I don't know if it was an elk, if it was a moose, if it was a deer. It sounded pretty big though. But I'm gonna hang out here for the evening. Kill some time, see what I can see. That's it. Got a good open shooting. Rain in front of me, so hopefully uh they'll cooperate tonight. We'll see. Well, creepiness ensued. Sorry, I couldn't capture much of it. It's me running through the woods like a moron. But, had two separate bulls going off. One of them was responding to my calls pretty well. But they were just up on this slope, this side of the river. So I don't think there was any way they were coming down. And I bumped a cow, bombing my way in there. But, got some bulls in here. I know there's another bull over there too. So, I got some elk to chase. Not too much pressure from hunters yet, which is good. The bulls are bugling. We got a long, uphill, dark <laughs> hike back to camp. I forgot my headlamp, I got my back up, but it's like a little tiny little guy. But that's it. Battery's about to die in the GoPro. All right, back to camp. I need some food and some water. Walking back in the dark. Some sort of elk up there meowing at me and barking at me. But walked up on this guy. So that's pretty cool. Looks a lot like. That bull I saw last year would be the same bull. Who knows? It was right here, but it's pretty cool. So, take that four point side. All right. the worm so getting into a spot where I saw that bull a couple days ago at least getting into a spot where I can hear him go off he was going off yesterday morning too but I didn't chase him so hopefully somewhere I can cut him off that's what I'm doing this morning about a two mile hike in the dark let's do this well not much doing for the morning made a hard commit in the wrong direction I saw, 
I didn't see anything, but I heard a bull back up behind camp. Probably another mile or two behind camp going off this morning. And then another one where those bulls were last night. So at least I have something to chase this afternoon. I'm hoping this one up here behind camp will go off one or two more times. So I can do a little midday madness on him. But we'll see. If I can really locate him, that'd be great. If I figure out where he beds down, put a stock on him, get close, and hopefully call him in that way. So I'm going to get up there back close to camp and uh, hopefully hear him again. Stand by. All right, well, it's about four o'clock. Making my way out of camp. I'm gonna go where I was last night, but a little bit further. Really hot today, so I don't feel so bad just hanging around camp most of the day. Here's that shed I found last night. First time ever finding a shed in the dark, so that was pretty cool. Decent little four point side. Wouldn't mind running into him out here, especially after a year or two of growth. Looks like it was probably been on the ground for a year, but that's pretty cool. I don't know, I'm gonna get after it. Hopefully uh, they're bugling tonight, but it is really hot. It's gotta be in the 90s, so kinda sucks. I'm gonna make my way across this opening and into some dark timber and work that down. Maybe I'll run into something working that dark timber down. Find a place to set up tonight, so stay tuned and uh, hopefully I have something to show for it. We'll see. Well, after a long, somewhat miserable hike back in the dark uphill, I don't know, probably a mile and a half, a little further than yesterday's, that is the end of day, what is today, Thursday, end of day three. Saw some cows, had an opportunity at uh, shooting a cow. I think I got a couple more days, so I'm going to let that happen. Um rough out here definitely looking forward to a soft bed and some real food but hanging in there still got some days left probably got legitimately till I don't know Monday because I gotta head home Wednesday at the latest I can't shoot something Tuesday I don't know maybe because I'm gonna have to be able to pack it out but still got some days left there's definitely elk around. Hopefully they start firing off. This heat is unbearable. It is 9.06 and it's probably still 85 degrees. It is insanely hot. Everything is just drenched in sweat. Eat some dinner, go to bed, and uh, day four tomorrow. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. See you then. Alright, so this morning, I got to do a high spot on the drive and observatory set. yesterday morning up here behind me somewhere so hopefully he starts going off this morning but it's just first light I saw a cow down below me so that's a good sign just a lone cow so I'm sure there's more with it I just saw a glimpse of one so maybe they'll make their way somewhere I can uh, make a move on it it's Friday September 2nd I see a couple more trucks parked at the trail and I can see it from here Awesome sign, awesome start. I 
Well, it's been a very uneventful day here at the uh, El Camp. Been hot, just kind of been hanging out up here, listening to glass and not seeing much. But tonight I'm going down into the river where I saw those cows last night where the bugling was a couple days ago. So I'm going to get down there early, find a nice little spot to set up. Mostly listen, maybe do a little bit of calling, but hopefully they get fired up. If not, come back up here tonight and go back down there in the morning. There was some bugling down there this morning. It was, uh, I don't know if it was a real bull or a hunter, but it sounded like a real bull. And I did see some cows, so they're still up in the area. It's so painfully hot. I can't believe how hot it is, but I'm going to get down on the river bottom. Hopefully get my wind coming back up this way instead of where those elk were coming from. But we'll see. And uh, go from there. So I'll see you at the bottom. Also, I need to get some water. I'm running low. Alright. Alright, I'm all set up for tonight. I'm tucked here on the side of this river where I've been hearing the bugles and I saw those um, cows the other day. I don't really have a shot from where I'm sitting, but. I can stand up and maneuver for a little bit. Then I see him coming, I can hopefully get to it and push by. But I think my wind and thermals is okay. It's pushing back up towards my camp, which is probably a mile and a half away. Well, and these don't do exactly what they did the other day. Just come right to this bottom. Regardless, I'm gonna have to get some water before dark, but here I go. It's last evening in this spot. Found my place nice, found myself a nice little place to sit. It's turning into a meat hunt now. I ran into some other hunters this morning. Didn't give it the greatest news. They're camping down in the bottom where I've been hearing that one bull, so it's probably been them. Big horse camp down there. They've been going up and around all these mountains every day. Said they shot two bulls so far, a spike and a two by two. And they said after they shot up there, the wolves started coming down, eating at their carcasses, and now they've even been coming down into their camp. So like I said, mostly elk are out of here. But I'm gonna give it one last try tonight, tomorrow. Maybe I'll get a cow. Last night I bumped some uh, some elk, I don't know what, out of, out of here as I was walking back. So hoping for at least a cow tonight. I'll do a little calling, see what I can do. But things aren't looking the greatest, it's Sunday. Uh, Day eight, being solo in the backcountry. Day seven, being in this spot. So I'm about out of food and about out of patience for this spot. But I hang out for the night. Got some nice cover in front of me. Good wind. Hopefully they feed out right in front of me. Maybe I'll call them in. I don't know. Also some thick stuff behind me, so they might come down over this way. But we'll give it a whirl. See what happens. You'll see what I see. So a lot of people ask what I carry uh, for protection against uh, four-legged uh, foes. Usually I'll carry my Glock 20, which is a 10 millimeter. I'll carry it hooked to my pack, 15 rounds of 10 millimeter, but I didn't think I'd be in with any predators. I didn't really know about the wolves here. So I've just been carrying my little Ruger SP-101 right here in the back in a little uh, pocket holster. Just a five shot. 357 loaded with uh, expanding hollow points so uh, that should work against wolves uh, I only have five shots though so hopefully uh, if they do decide to get hungry there's not more than five of them but it's just kind of a peace of mind thing I don't think I'll actually need it but I have it just in case of course I have my bow with five arrows too and a couple knives so if things have to get primal they will that's what I care for protection, and uh, hopefully we'll never need it. Well, another eventful, uneventful, I should say, evening. I uh, did see one cow far away, but no shots or anything, no bugles. This place seems to be about wore out. i uh, having my last dinner. Uh, Mountain House chicken fried rice. It's going to be gross. Mountain House is suck. 
It's all about the peak refuels. Throwing some water. There's a shed I found the other night. It's been a heck of a uh, seven days up here solo. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna hike out of here, but I'm gonna hunt that one hillside where I saw that big bull on opening day on the way out with the heavy pack. So that should be fun. Not, but hopefully I can uh, send an arrow, and if not, regroup with the truck. Probably go get some gas, maybe some real food, and then uh, find somewhere to hunt for the next two days. And that's it. So uh, we'll see you then. And just like that, seven day camp is in the bag. Headed out of here today. Uh, Pretty long hike out, but mostly downhill. Probably about three and a half miles, I'd say. Hit this one spot on my way out. Maybe give out a few calls, see what happens. But other than that, getting back to the truck today. Gonna check out some other new spots. Seven full days in here. It's an adventure, but on to the next one.